Working with sheep in the yards presents a number of hazards. Sheep that are penned more closely together can often become quite agitated. They can potentially charge people, or people can become jammed between sheep and the fences or rails. You'll have a ewe that gets down and my sheep are that heavy now, 80 to 100 kilos at lambing time, that they're just too heavy to lift up and put into the back of my tray. So um, we've bought this trailer to make it easy. So we just un, uh, undo that little clip there and then this comes up and that lowers down. So this is on the ground and then we can slide this to the side and that's a ground level so that it, it makes it nice and easy to either just push the sheep in here or um, it's a little bit awkward but to, to go in and then be able to, to drag the sheep into the trailer so you're not there's no takes that manual lifting out of it click our winch into gear and it's as easy as that and uh, just means that don't have to worry about any of that manual handling. Making sure the catch is down and so it shows you that it's red when it's when it's up and not down. And as you can see they're pretty excitable. Um, so obviously we want to keep an eye on where they want to go and make sure they we they go where we want them to go and also they don't run over the top of us and knock us over. So always keeping some eye contact. And if you have to turn your back to them, just making sure that they're not stirred up and they're gonna come back and, and charge at you. Um, especially when you've got a dog in here with you as well. I haven't got a dog today, but if I've got a dog in here with me as well, quite often the dog will run up and push at the sheep up there and they'll turn around and come back at you. So. If you've got a dog in here with you, make sure your dog's down here with you while you're closing gates and got your back turned to the sheep so that they're not gonna come back and, uh, and knock you over. These gates have got a, like a, a slam shut function, but uh, what I have found that um, they can flex a little bit and the gate, when they get a lot of pressure from the sheep, the gate can come open. So I always make sure that it's, it's a double up, but always make sure I put the chain on. So be careful that when the sheep are coming down that they don't jump and lunge at you and uh, hit, it, hit at your arm or something like that. As, as the sheep run up through here, they'll go under there's some little eyes here. So that eye there has just gone off to stop the next sheep coming through because the first sheep come through and that's caught it. So. You can adjust the width and all those sorts of things there on that. And so it's decided that this one here is 65 kilos and it's gonna draft her out that way because that's what I've got it set up to do. To drench it, you can just grab it and then drench it nice and easy. So um, instead of grabbing it in there and the sheep's moving back or everywhere, they're nice, they're held in here. So. If I need to inoculate it or something like that, the sheet's in here, it's held. If I need to put a, where well, they have capsules sometimes, I can access them, I can check their teeth. Um, and then if, if this sheet, for instance, was dirty, I can actually turn it over on its side, like that. It's where, that's where I can clean, clean it up if I need to. They're held in here so I can access their head, I can, and it just means that you're not there fighting and wrestling with the sheep. Uh, not everybody's gonna be able to afford one of these. There are manual versions of this that are not all air and electronically operated. So uh, there are cheaper versions for people who have only got small flocks um, that take some of that manual handling out of it. Key points of sheep handling techniques include using suitable manual handling aids to minimise the risk of sprain and strain type injuries, maintaining a good line of sight of the sheep and calmly guiding them in the direction we want them to move. By understanding these key factors, workers will be able to handle sheep more safely and efficiently 
with less risk of injury and with less stress to the animals.